Okay, so here's a little video uh, of a problem uh, that I had for a client today for working with them. Uh, they were having a problem with the border and corner sizes of various pips they were creating on a scene uh, when they're different sized pips. So you can see here in an example I've made up of it, um, they had this one main pip with the border, so take the olive one uh, with the white border, but they also had other pips within their uh, multi-view scene. And they, when they put the values in, it seemed like the border was smaller, obviously, the more you zoomed in. So the magenta one there has got a smaller border and the blue one smaller still. So if you look at the settings that they put in for their zooms, on the olive one, pip two, they've got a thickness of 40 and a radius of 20. And then you put the same in for pip 3, the blue one there, thickness 40, radius 20, and pip 4, a thickness of 40 and a radius of 20. But because the pips have been zoomed in and cropped, etc., mainly zoomed, then that affects the size of the border and the corners that vMix generates. So what I've done is generate a little spreadsheet here where you can pop in the values uh, of your original pip and then pop in the zoom levels of the additional pips and it'll do the calculations you need to make it look a little bit better. So if we go back into this first problem scene, we'll take pip 2, which is the olive uh, pip there, and get its values. It's got a 0.55 zoom. Let's pop that in. And its thickness, then that's the one we want to try and achieve across all pips, is 40 and 20. So we want to try and recreate that sort of look on screen of a 40 and 20 pip based on 0.55 zoom. So that's the details there popped in for that olive pip. And then all we do is we go to each in next pip, so we'll go to layer 3 there, and the blue box there we can see is a 0.15 zoom. At the moment we put in is 40 and 20 and it doesn't work. So if we put in 0.15 for the zoom, it will now tell us the values that we need to replace that with. Likewise, if we go to the magenta pip, we can see there uh, that the zoom is 0.4. So if we put in 0.4, again, it'll tell us the values that we need. Rather than 40 and 20, they're the values we need. So if we go into the fixed scene, we can see here, if, once we go into the values, we go into box two, there's the 40 and 20 for the olive one. Then box three, I put in 146 and 73, 146, 73. And then box four, 55 and 27, 55 and 27. And you can see there that the boxes all look the same now. The borders are the same across all of them. Something that's slightly bigger there. You can see there the olive border and the magenta border and the blue border are the same irrespective of the size of the pip or the zoom value of the pip. So that's the um, the effect that the end client wanted to achieve. So they're happy with that. And that spreadsheet there is quite useful for them so they can use it going forward. So you can see there, there's the, the fixed scene on the right and there's the problem scene on the left. You can see before they had problems with the white border not being the same amount on the final screen and there's the solution there so it's all quite a nice simple spreadsheet uh, it's free to download from my uh, vmix store if you want to have a go and have a look there um, if you want to put any comments pop them below that's fine or drop me a line but uh, hopefully this might be useful to try and achieve that same effect if that's a problem you've encountered before okay thanks for that